Anna's child here with Little Bird and the pen that we write, we've scribed with for the last umpteen million years, remind you that Little Bird, um, represented by Pharaoh's cup, which is what Owl was translated into, and um, that Little Bird was present when the human kingdom was birthed. In fact, she overseen the whole pregnancy and she's been watching ever since as that a human child has been developing. So we're going to talk about um, what, it's good, what is good for us to eat. What is good for the human kingdom to partake of? And um, letters, numbers, and words never lie. <laughs> they always tell you the story. And so we're basically going to let them tell the story. And it, it takes place in um, the called out, which was translated Leviticus. And the called out were these troubled. And these troubled were uh, the female word because it was an open, generative, growing, uh, living human kingdom that had been birthed out of the mastership of Egypt. This is the mastership, and human is the mastership kind. It's supposed to master itself. So in the called out, um, there were some instructions, some suggestions given about what was helpful for um, us to partake of and what was not so helpful. So let's let the stories, let's let the word meanings tell the story. And um, I need my glasses and my notes for that. So called out the palm of the hand power of water. That would be translated Leviticus 11.13. So the human kingdom of power of water is not to partake in the lacerating, clawing strength kind. And the motion of the palm of the hand power of water is not to partake in the darting, screaming that comes from crying kind. And the human kingdom support is not to partake of the dusk covering up. And the human kind eye is not to be the builder of the station of answering and paying attention to that twisting away from the light, nor to pay attention to what sprouts. What is, what's the aftergrowth of that? We're not supposed to pay attention to what's going away, that kind. And the mouth of the human kingdom is not to hold together nor throw out the breeze, kind. And the oxhead pregnancy of the human kind is not to partake in the breather vomiting the vomit of the tender fondling of the back of the head kind. And the human kingdom, back of the head kind, is not to be involved in the enraged kind, the unknown kind. And the human kind head is not supposed to be involved in the unknown wriggle, walking for that comes from sprawling. Now, the four is a, as a letter means door. As a number, it means to copulate, to open, or to uh, re reproduce. And it's a male word. It's not gender. It's just that something has been formed. And we're to stay away from those forms. Now, the humankind is not to particip participate in the house cycle of the gliding motion attacking that comes from the entangling spider that establishes its own kind. And the human kingdom is not to participate in the completion of the house cycle by shrieking a firm, vigorous force that hides and lies low, the hard breather kind. So those are the things that is suggested that we don't partake in, but what we are, we are given to freely partake in is the increase of crushing the lofty rock, of leaping away from dismay, of going away from the uncertain meaning kind, that we can partake of freely. These are not laws. 
These are suggestions because the intention of the plural gods way back in the beginning of time was to create a lofty self-entity, a self-entity that could rule itself, feed itself, water itself, fertilize itself, know what was right for self, and was given free will in the Garden of Pleasure. This is the Garden of Pleasure that developed into the mastership Egypt, and everything that was in the mastership Egypt was given to the kingdoms of Egypt, and the human kingdom was given it all. And we have free will. So it's up to each one of us individually to know what is good food for us, and what is food that draws us away from mastering our ship, from being lord over our own house, from being the husband that knows how to take care of the vineyard. And once again, I just encourage you that um, the letters, numbers, and word meanings always tell the truth. They do not lie. They cannot lie. And it is a way of looking at those ancient scrolls and gaining a greater understanding of what was really being said. So I hope you enjoy these stories. Um, that little bird helps me bring together for you. She was there, and she reminds me of what perhaps is needful to be said on any given day. So we hope that you enjoyed the story, and we hope that you have gained some benefit and some insight, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Um, little Bird suggests that maybe you'd like to look at the credits and see um, the elders the birds and the animals that were chosen as the words in King James to describe what has just been shared with you. I think you might find that very interesting. Bye.